Hey folks, sliding over here to Studio B. Got some golf going here on the channel today. I'm enjoying this this golf game here, this uh, Inside the Cup. I really, I really am. I don't know why. It, it, it's, it's simple to play. It doesn't do a lot of the things that the other golf games do, but I, I'm really enjoying it here. And so I'm going to play a little bit more here. I picked up the Torrey Pines course, and I'm going to play the, the back nine here at Torrey, Torrey Pines. And we'll get right down to, I just want to make sure that we're going here live, like as I like to do. Go to my channel here and make sure everything's going. And, yep, we should be good to go here. All righty. All right, yeah, so let's get right down to the chorus, as I like to say. And here we are, Tory Pines. I'm going to pick up the back nine here. I've got Ricky Fowler taking on Bubba Watson. Let's take a look at our scorecard, and here we go. As uh, Bubba Watson just had a seven on hole number nine. Yeah, it was not a good hole for him. <laughs> he was in a world of hurt. And that's the fun thing about this game is you, you can it plays like real golf. You can go off to the side and you can get messed up here. Or you can have a good round or whatever. Uh, and I'm, I'm still feeling, feeling it out here. Um, it, it doesn't do a lot of things that other golf games do, and I understand that. But there's fun to be had in this game, and it's not really that expensive. Al Red Sox fan shows up here at the golf course here. So as you can see... Um, both golfers are actually a plus one on the day. So Ricky follows te teeing off here. And I got some sand on my right and sand on my left here. So this is going to be a tricky shot here. I almost feel like playing it safe here, but I'm going to hit away. Again, there's not a lot of choices to be made in the game, but there's a few. There's a few choices you can make in this game. It's not as deep as action PC, but boy, n <laughs> is it not nearly as frustrated as uh, action PC either. All right, so let's let's go with the drive here. And here we go. So uh, so we're looking for a nice high black die here because you want to get up in the A level. And again, A is the best. So you get F, D, C, B, A. So you really want to hit this as deep as possible. And um, I'm learning about this game here because I, I, for a while I was like, ah, oh, this is no big deal where you are. But it is because you have the long iron, the medium iron, and the short iron. And obviously the closer you are to the hole, the, the better club you use, the more chances you get on the green and the more chances you can get close to the pin. So I am, I know that sounds stupid, but I mean, at first I couldn't wrap my head around wh where I was in the course, but now I got that. So let's swing away. So we want a nice big roll here on the black die, and we want a nice uh, middle roll here on the middle die. We want something between 4 and 15, or uh, 5 and 15, actually, to land right in the middle. And then... Uh, we, we use this other die here, the 10-sided die, so we want a nice 0 to 8 for that, just to give you an idea. All right, so here we go. Oh, that's terrible. A 1 is the worst possible hit, and he, st he stayed in the middle, though. He stayed in the middle, so Fowler didn't get all of that one at all, so we're going to go into F, which is barely on the fairway here. A 17 stays in the middle, though. So he stays in the middle, and he's on the fairway here as it lights up black as a Steeler fan shows up. And SDG, SDG, how's the puppy doing, man? I'm seeing some of the puppy videos, and that is kind of cool. It's making a, we went out looking at puppies on Saturday. We didn't get one, but boy, I tell you, <laughs> puppies are great, aren't they? They're just puppies. They're great. All righty, so that one is a terrible shot right there. So he's got a long way to go to the green here. He only hits this 245 yards off the tee, so he's still got a couple hundred yards to go. All righty, so now we're going to go to Bubba Watson here, who's a plus one. They're both tied a plus one, and he's going to swing this one away. 13, that's a good swing right there, right in the middle as well. So he's going to end up here. He's going to be in the B section in the middle, and a seven is going to right in the fairway. What I like to do is kind of look at this and look at the course to see where I'm going to go. Uh, I can just hit the button and hit next. But I like to see, like, I like to physically see where it's going and make sure that I, I'm learning the game. So we're at 13. We're right in the middle here. And boom, on the fairway here in the middle. So he's uh, right next to this bunker up here. And uh, the other guy is down below over here. Hard day for, oh, she's been, oh, she's being spayed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we brought our dogs home, and they were tired. It felt so bad for them because they were so tired and in a fog. But a couple days later, they bounced right out of it, and they're ready to go. All right, so Ricky Fowler now, he's got the long iron, but he'll add one to his long iron. So we get the plus one. So there's little adjustments you make in the game. The computer doesn't fall you, which is kind of fun. So we're going to swing away here. Um, boy, I tell you, we need a 10 or better 
to get on the green. I'm going to go no strategy. I'm not going to gamble for the pin, and I'm not going to try to go middle of the green, which is kind of playing it safe. So I'm just going to go no strategy and swing away. So I need a 10 or better. And, oh, no, Ricky Fowler is struggling here on 10. He got the 5, and the 5 is not. He's going to miss the green, and he's going to be around the green here in the sand. Wow, so he goes to the left over here. He's in his left bunker over here in the sand. Um, and I believe on the approach shot, if you miss the green, uh, the yellow die, yeah, so that seven puts us in the four to nine. So, yeah, he's kind of bumming here. Oh, boy. So he, But he's, um, he's around the green, though. Uh, which section of the circle? So, yeah, so the black die is four. So how I would read this, a five is a miss green. The nine is... It tells us that we are around the green. The four tells us what area here. See how you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and zero and nine are in the middle. So we're in the four section, which is off to the left, and the yellow die says zero to nine, and four to nine is in the sand, if you follow any of that. So uh, I am getting better at following up. It's the four dice. I'm trying to figure out which one tells you where to go. And I got my handy-dandy instructions here, which helps a lot. But this is a fun game. It really is. It's not that difficult. It's just trying to remember which, which die to look at. All right, so Fowler's in the sand right now on the par four. And Bubba Watson now, he is right in the middle. He's in the middle of the fairway here. He's got a middle iron, and we're going to go right for the pin because we only need a seven or better. And he's got a plus one on his roll as well because he's in the middle of the fairway with a middle iron. So here we go. Oh, we got it. Nice job there. So the 17, we add the one. That turns into the 18. And uh, because this is a one to eight, a zero and nine is bad on a gamble. But a one to eight, so I will add two to this 11 right here to give me a 13. So I should be about 16 or 17 feet from the hole. Yep, 17 feet from the hole. So not a bad second shot by Bubba Watson. He's sitting pretty on the green. And now coming out of the sand, Ricky Fowler. Now, I actually hold out out of the sand here early in the tournament here. So if I get a 204 to 209, I hold out. That was kind of cool, actually. And I did that last night when I was playing offline. All right, so Fowler's coming out of the sand trap. And he's going to take the sand wedge out. Mmm, sandwich. Here we go. Nice high number here on the black die. Come on, 19, 192. Yeah. So he hits this one out, and he's just a couple of feet from the pin, and he will be able to tap that one in, and he'll save his par. He's nine feet away, but he's, he's automatically going to hit that putt when we get up to the green. And so now Bubba Watson's away. He's got 17 feet to go. He needs to roll a 170 or better. Now, if I get aggressive, how this works, if I get aggressive and I two-putt, if this yellow die is a nine, then I sink it. If it's a zero, then I go to three putts. So that's kind of the, but I still like to go aggressive. So we're going to go aggressive here. And I got a, oh, man, just made it in a zero. Oh, man, I screwed it up. Yep. So not only did I, I two putted it, but that zero, that's the gamble. That turns it into a three putt. That's a three putt. So uh, the 32 would put it here. But because I gambled, the zero means that I, I screwed it up. I'll just double check that. But I'm pretty sure that if I gamble, a roll of zero means I was too aggressive and I three putt. So, yeah. So he's on the green in two, but he misses the 17 footer. Then he misses the three footer. And now he taps it in and he will come up with a, a bog on that one. And then again, Ricky Fowler out of the sand, just a few feet away. He got the automatic one putt and he'll tap that in. So, actually. Fowler did a better job on that one there, ending up in the sand, a three-putt. That's terrible. So we look at the scorecard here. Yeah, so Fowler ends up in the sand. Bubba Watson's on the green in regulation, but a 17-foot putt turned into three putts. Yeah, here we go. All right, so hole 11 now, and this time Fowler's in the lead. And we're going to – so we got a, a – ooh, a pot of three right here. Let's go at the pin, right at the pin now. So we need a better than a 10 – to get on the green here. Let's go. And he's on the green. Oh, look at this. He's going to sneak this. I think yeah, he is. So I'm going to I'm going to put it right right within 5 feet of the hole. So an 11 is better than this and we add 2 and 19 so that's 20. You can't get better than that. He is 2 feet. Ricky Fowler drops that right next to the pin here on 11 and that should be a nice easy tap in for birdie there. So Bubba Watson 
He's going for the pin at well, the pin as well. And oh, he didn't make it. He didn't even make the green. So he missed the green with a two, and he is way off to the side. And you see, he's off long. He is long. He sailed that over the green. Bubba Watson did. Oh boy. So he's still got some work to do now. So Bubba Watson on the back of the green trying to chip this on. See if he can get up and down to save par. He's got the pitching wedge out. He's going to open that pitching wedge up a little bit. So we're going to go right for the pin because we're snuggled it up. We just need better than a four to get on the green. And we need this die to be one to, one to eight. Zero and nine. We're in trouble. Okay, good. So we're on the green, and that's a 14. So that should put us within 12 feet. Uh, ooh, 12. We got a, Do we have an adjustment? Why did it bump up to here? That's a 12. I'm not sure why. Is there any addition here? Because that should be 6 and 6. So that should be a 12. So I'm not sure why that went to 18. So there's still a couple little adjustments here that I don't quite follow. Um, but we'll, we'll take it. So he snugs that up within 9 feet of the cup. All right. So Bubba Watson now. 9 feet from the cup. We need to beat 94 to sink this. 94 or better to sink it. And we're just going to go normal. And 93, he comes up short on the 9-footer, and he'll have to tap that in for a 2-putt. And he'll come up with another bogey here. So Bubba Watson not looking good here on the back 9. Less than 5 feet away right now, so all we need is better than 15. So we need just something better than a 1 here in the black die, and we're going to tap this in. And we gets it, 175. Yes, easy. And a two-foot putt there. Nice birdie there by Fowler. Thank you so much on the bird. And now we go to hole number 12. As Moda, 1455. Game looks really interesting so far. Uh, yeah, this, um, I played Action PC Golf too, and, and Action PC Golf does so much more than this, but it's so frustrating. In fact, uh, myself and Ron talked about that today while I was uh, walking the dog. I was just like, I love Action PC Golf I just don't know how to play it. And no matter how many times I play it, I just can't figure out what they want me to do. And you think you got it lined up, and the shot goes everywhere. This here, this rolls the dice, and I don't have to worry about anything. This is cards and dice, you know. There's a couple little strategies here in the game. Uh, but for the most part, it's fine. The, the cards and dice version, I imagine, would be very fun. I've, I've kind of played a little bit of it. But here in the PC, um, I wish it did more. I wish it did more like the action PC with a tournament, and there's more automation in it. Uh, because you still have to do everything manually. But as far as just like playing playing uh, 18 holes or something, th I'm ha I have more fun with this. This is just plain fun, and I like following the dice rolls along. I don't know about you guys, but I, when I play cards and dice games, especially on the PC, uh, I like to follow like what happened because the computer will tell you what happened. But it's still nice to know that you know what happened. So if you ever did play cards and dice, you'd be all set. Okay, so we're here on hole number 12 right now. And Ricky follows back to even on this one here. And he's going to tee this one off. Now we got, I'm going to go one to the right. And why I'm going one to the right is because when I go into the fairway here, there's a lot of rough down here. So I'm going to try to play it over to the right here is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to be adding one to this roll right here. So hopefully that won't bite me in the butt. But here we go. So a drive here. And uh, it didn't really matter anyway. So I got a 13. So I got a 13, and again, the 13 plus 1 is going to just still, it'll keep me under 16, so that is fine there. So I'm going to drop that right in here and here. Now, a 0 is going to put me in the rough, because I will be in C, but as you can see, it's 0 and 1 is in the rough. 2 to 9 is the fairway, so I will be in the rough, even though I'm in the middle of the course here. So, boom, yep, I'm in the rough. So I got to pull out my fairway wood, but I do get to add one to that. So Ricky Fowler hits it down the middle there, but he drops it into the first patch of rough here on the left side. And now Bubba Watson, who's in all kinds of trouble, he's just going to hit away square here. And boom, here we go. Oh, that's not a good one at all. He'll get it in C, and he'll be off to the right, and he'll be in the rough over here right, right as well. So I think he's going to be over here on the rough. So we're going to go uh, 8 is here, 18 is here. And he'll be off to the right, and he'll be over here in the rough as well. So both guys down the middle in C section here, but they are one's on the left and one's on the right. So we're going to start with Bubba Watson, who's off on the right here. Coming out of the rough with a fairway wood, we'll add one to our 20 die. And let's just hit this one away. And I don't think you can go for the pin when you're in the rough. No, you can't. So we got no strategy here. So, I, so to hit the green, I need a 15 
uh, a better than a 15, so actually a 14 plus 1. So I need a 14 or better on, on this die here. Here we go. 14 or better with my adjusted roll, and we swing away. Boom. And, oh, we got the 20. That's a great shot. So a 20 is an exceptional shot, and that leads to um, certain things as well. So I got to see. I'll click on that and see what the exceptional shot is. 20 is a, an exceptional shot. I, I don't get them too often. That's why I want to check here on the 20. Um, stand. Oh, exceptional shot. If I roll a black 20, exceptional shot has occurred. In this case, the ball has hit the green, so I'm on the green. I use the hit green procedure, but I add the yellow die to the white. Ooh, that's going to put me within 21 feet, if I'm correct here. I think it is. So I'm over, and exceptional shot. And, yeah, that puts me right here because what I would do is I would add... Uh, the 13 and the 7, and that gives me the 20. Yep, so I'm on the green, and I'm just about, what did I say, 20 feet away? Oh, 6 feet away. Wow, I'm 6 feet. So Bubba Watson comes out of the rough over here, and he hits that one on a rope, and he's 6 feet from the hole. So now Ricky Fowler, he's far away as well, hitting his second shot here on the 12th here at Torrey Pines. He needs to get a 12 or better. We will add one because because it says the fairway plus one, so we'll add one that a fairway would. So here we go. Um, but we also minus one, because he's in the rough rating. So you can see the, the unadjusted roll is a 12. We add one and subtract one, so it remains a 12. But I didn't hit it. I gotta. I have to beat the 12. I didn't. So I'm going to be around the green, and I'm going to be in section two, I believe. Yep, so I'm going to be in the rough here. So I just overshot the green. So not a terrible shot, but it's okay. But it's still not on the green. So let's continue on. So Fowler's away right now. So we got a chip here. If I, if I can get 108 or higher, I'll snug it up and I'll tap in for a par. So can I get up and down in one? Here we go. 176. Yes, I do. Nice chip out. And he's going to snug that up to about seven feet from the hole. And he should have a nice, easy tap in to salvage the par. And now it's going to be uh, Ricky Fowler now. Oh, he's actually away, so we we automatically tap in. Yeah, okay, so he's away, and we automatically tap in because we of the last roll. So he'll tap in for par. Now, Bubba Watson, he's got a chance for birdie here. He needs to get 94 or better. Do I, if I get aggressive, that gives me a small chance to get the one. Um, let's get yeah, let's get aggressive. We need to get aggressive because he needs he needs some some. Uh, he needs to gain some stroke. So on my on my aggressive here, this yellow die is the key. If I can get a nine on the yellow die, that helps me out. A, a zero, and it punishes me. All right, here we go. So I got a four. That doesn't matter. 170. Oh, he taps it in from six feet out. So the 170 goes right here. There's no adjustment over here, and he'll tap that in for the bird. So nice job. By Bubba Watson tapping that in here at 13. We'll check our scorecard here. And you can see the bird by Bubba Watson here and Ricky Fowler with the par. But that seven has still been the killer here in the in the event. So Bubba Watson uh, goes to plus two now, and he'll have the honors here at the par five, 13, 604 yards. We're just going to swing away here. 16. That's a good hit. And a six. He's right in the middle. So he comes right down the middle. So we're going to go into B. So he's going to be in the middle of the fairway number two. And we're going to drop that in right here. It's going to be, oh, no, he's going to be A with a 16. My bad, A. And he's going to be right down the middle. That's about as good as you can hit that. So Bubba Watson hits that one right on a line. And he is in the A section here. So he's got a chance to go for the green right now. Now, Ricky Fowler, he's not been hitting his drives very long today here at Torrey Pine. So he's going to swing away here. And, yeah, that's another, he, he chunked that one there, too. Not sure if he took the driver or the three wood, but he didn't hit that well at all. He's going to be in the middle, though, with the 17 here. So he's got the 6, 17, and we're going to drop that in. And, yeah, he's, he's over here. So Bubba Watson's way up here in the mid by the 330 mark, and he's down here by 277. So Ricky Fowler is just not driving very long today. And it's going to be his second shot on the par 5. Um, I think he's just going to hit this. I don't think there's any strategy from here. Yeah. He can't, he's just got to hit it and lay up from here. He's too far away to hit the green. So we need a 10 or better. And we got, um, he's not in the rough. We do have a proximity rating, though. All right, so he's just going to hit this one now, way away. 16, that's not a bad shot. So 16, it's going to be 
13. So, yeah, he's going to hit it in the layup area. And 11 to 15, is that's a 13. So, yep, he drops that in here. And he's got a short iron to go. So that's not a bad layup shot by Ricky Fowler here on the fifth hole. So this guy can go for the green. Um, but, again, he need, he's going to need a really, really high number to get that green going there. Um, but we're trailing, so we're going to go for the green. We're going to get greedy here and go for the green. So he's going to need a... 15 or better, I believe. Oh, no, he's got a minus one, too. This needs to be at least a 16. But he's hitting away. He's going to go for the green. Here we go. Long shot. No, he didn't make it. Not even close. And he's going to be off the green. And he's going to be in the sand. <laughs> yeah, he's going to be off the green uh, in the sand here. So tough shot there. He overshot. You see all the sand traps around the green. Well, he hit the green, he rolled right into the sand. So Ricky Fowler now on the layup is going to try to drop that on. He's going to go for the pin right here. He's going to hit the short iron. And here we go. And, oh, this is going to be a good one. He's on the green with a 14. So that's going to bring him up about 11 to 15 feet from the hole. And, yep, right here. So he's going to drop that in 15 feet from the hole. Very nice. And now Bubba Watson in the sand. It's only his third shot, though, so he could still get up and down right here. So he's coming out of sand with a pitching wedge. Need a four or better. I'm going to go for the pin. Oh, no, it's not available. Sorry, not available. All right, there we go. And, oh, he didn't get it. He he didn't get it at all. So, But he did get it on the fringe. So he chipped out of the sand, but he went over the green, and now he's sitting on the fringe right now. And now he's going to hit again. So he didn't get a good clump out of the sand. So let's see here. Um, we need 112 or better. 112 or better on the chip shot from the fringe. Chips this on. Oh, he just got it. He got the 112, if you can believe it. He snugs that up to within seven feet of the cup, and he'll be able to tap that in. And he'll pick up, um, I believe that'll be, so be one, two, three, four. He'll get his five. Ricky Fowler now. He's going to try to tap this one in. He is 15 feet away. We need a 147 or better. Um, we'll get aggressive. Uh, 196. Yeah, we'll get it. We'll tap that in. Father one. Of course, stroke adjust. Oh, no. Because I rolled the one. The one, the red one right up here. If you roll that number there, it adds an extra stroke on. So, oh, man, that's too bad. He missed it because he rolled the red one right there. He missed it, and I'm glad that the uh, the computer picked up on that because I didn't. So, yeah, that's another little wrinkle they throw on putts is sometimes you have this number up here, and if you hit it, you're in trouble. So he'll pick up the five on that one, maybe even the six. Let's, what did he give him? They gave him the five. So Fowler just missed that putt, and he's kicking himself. And then um, this guy, uh, seven putt. Uh, seven feet away, we'll drop that in. So that's good. He, he had it automatic because when you when you get the one putt on a chip, that means you automatically one putt. So you just go up and just tap it in is basically what you do. If you get the one plus question mark, you still got to roll. All right, so we're here on hole number 14. Let's check our scorecard here. Again, um, both players with a five on the par five. And uh, Ricky Fowler still leads by two. So Bubba Watson teeing off here. Par four. We got some brush to worry about now behind the green and on the left hand side. So we are going to. So we got a four or five. He's going to go one to the left here and see if we can keep it in the middle. Here we go. Fairway wood. And we're going to hit this one here. Oh, I played that all wrong. I played that all wrong. I, well, actually, it wouldn't have mattered. I got the four anyway. So that's going to turn into a three. So I got a five. And I'm going to go left. And that's going to be. See, into the rough over here. Into the rough. So Fowler goes off to the left, and he's in the rough here as he tried to get a little little greedy there. Uh, Ricky Fowler's just going to hit the – I mean, that was Bubba Watson. Ricky Fowler's just going to hit straight away. He's not driving deep today at all. He's in the center, and he will be in the fairway, but he is just not driving deep at all. Maybe he's not a deep driver. I don't know. All right, so Fowler is away in Section D down here. And he's got a ways to go. So we're not going to go for the pin. We're just going to hit this one. Here we go. Straight up shot. Boom. 19. Oh, that's a great shot right here on the 19. 
And that might actually be considered a good shot because of the, the was it was at a 20, but it was an adjustment here for the minus one. So they might give him a good shot on this one. It's an exceptional shot, and that's going to put him within five feet. Oh, one foot. That was one foot away. He'll have a nice, easy tap in for the birdie here. What a shot by Fowler here. He was far away on the fairway, but he got that middle iron working, and he drops that to within just a foot of the pin. That is fantastic. And so now in the rough now on the left, Bubba Watson feeling the pressure right now. He's going to come up. He's, he's, you know, we can't go for it because I'm in the rough. And so let's go. Here we go. He hits this one here at 16. That's going to be good. He's going to be on the green, and he will be 11 feet away. So he's still he's not too bad, 11 feet away. And he will step up now. Let's see if we can get this one to go here. He needs this. He needs this birdie right now. Birdie attempt from 11 feet away. And we're just going to go normal here. 145 or better. He got it. He got it 11 feet away. Nice putt by Bubba Watson to get the bird here. And he'll go now improve to one over. And so now this is a simple putt here. Just a one foot away. Remember, Ricky Fowler had that great drive from the fairway with the uh, the Long Island. That put him in one foot away. So just a tap in, 15 or better. And he got that one. He taps that in for the bird. So Ricky Fowler will go to minus one. He'll lead by two strokes here as we get to hole 15 here at Torrey Pines. And Bubba Watson will go first. And what do we want to do here? We're going we're gonna to swing away. And a 172 and a four. He goes left again. This is tailing off to the left but it will be in section A, and I think he's going to be in the trees. I think he is in the trees over here. Let's find out. And yes, he is. He's in the trees over here on the left, as you can see. And he's over here in A on the left. So Bubba Watson, he kind of hit a little, I think that's a draw. And he hits that one over, and he'll be in the trees here. Not too far away from the green, but he's still in the trees. So Ricky Fowler now. He's going to... um. He's going to hit away. It's going to go normal with him. Ooh, another short, short drive. And he'll be in the fairway, but, boy, he didn't get very far at all. He hit that one, 247. Ricky Fowler having trouble off the tee today, not hitting it very long at all. So can he even get to the green from here? I don't know if he can. He's got a long way to go. So we'll go for the pin. Can we get to the pin here? Yes, we can. We're going to go for the pin. We're winning. Here we go. And this one's, oh, he missed it. He missed it. That zero right here is going to send us off the green. So, yeah, so we missed the green, and we're going to be in area six over here because what it does is it puts you in the, uh, the, the, the section closest to the pin. So you can see that down here in the corner is uh, the pin placement, and so that's where he's going to land up. So he went for the green, and he's off to the green. He's on the fairway, though, but he comes out short and to the left. And so now... In the trees right now. Sounds like a rush song, the trees. He's at the long iron right now. Trying to come out of the trees on A. Here we go. And here comes the swing. And oh, he got a bad hit. A bad hit. A one. And that is that is terrible. There's there's something in here about that. Let me just double check on the one. So 20 is an exceptional shot. One is a disaster. One is a disaster. Where's my one hit? I, I don't usually roll too many ones, but occasionally I do. So a duffed shot. All righty. Can occur except on the T, fairway or rough. So I'm in the T's. So on a duff shot, one stroke is taken and I hit again. So a duff shot, I duffed it. So I got to hit again, I believe. Bubba Watson is just going to hit it again from the trees. So I hit a tree. <laughs> That's what happened. I hit a tree. Let's go again. 11. This time I'm on the green. And I'm um, 12 feet away. So tw 21 feet away. But, boy, I tell you, hitting that tree kind of screwed him up there. So <laughs> you can't be hitting trees. <laughs> I duffed it. That's awesome. I hit, I hit a tree. That's what I'm going to say happened. All right, so Fowler... If I can get anything above 204, I'll chip this in. So he's on the, uh, he's off to the side over here on the fairway. He's going to chip this one up. And a 92, uh-oh, he's still got some work to do with the putter. 
He'll chip that to within eight feet, but that's not going to be automatic. He's still going to have to put that one in. And now it's going to be the fourth shot now on the par four, 21 feet away. Remember, he hit the tree just a second ago, so he took two shots to get out of the tree, but he's on the green, 21 feet away. We're going to get aggressive. And we're going to roll here, and 48. No, he's going to plunk that in for a deuce, and he'll get a bogey on this one. So he falls back to two over on the day here at Torrey Pines. And now Ricky Fowler, he's eight feet away. We need an 89 or better, 89 or better for the par. And 22, no. He misses the eight-foot putt, and he'll tap in for a two right here, and he'll pick up. A par on that one. Now we go to 16. Yep. So each oh each guy got a five on that. Oh, I thought Fowler might have might have got the four on that. I guess not. All right. So we got another par three right here. Love to see a hole in one here. It is possible on a hole in one. You do need. I think you need to get a 20, a 20, and a zero to hole it out. It's kind of one of those weird rules, but it can happen. I've not had it happen to me yet. Um, but there is something called holing out, and I and I, I don't know why I read on that. It's like one of the things I thought to be kind of kind of cool if I could hole it out. Yeah, so I got to get a, a twenty, a twenty, and a zero, and then still have something happen on the yellow die. All right, so we're gonna go for the pin right here. So I need uh, this die right here to be one to eight, and I need this one to be better than a ten. Here we go, and oh yes, he got it. And an 18, he's going to snug this one up about 11 feet from the cup, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, nope, so it's going to be 18, so it's going to... Why am I subtracting one? That I'm not sure about. 18 feet. So if I got an 11 and I beat that, I'm adding 18. That should be here. So I'm not sure why we're subtracting one from that, but... We're going to just go with what the game says. I don't always follow it, but uh, so he's going to be 18 feet away. So Bubba Watson, 18 feet away. And Bruce, just get out of work. Hopefully things are going well for you, Bruce. I've been out of work for a few weeks again. <laughs> just kind of how my life is. So I just amuse myself here on YouTube and chat with you guys, and you guys try to keep my spirits up. All right, so we've got another long iron here off the tee. Let's go for the pin, and here we go. And he's going to miss the green. This one's going to sail off, and he's going to be uh, around the green over here in the sand. Oh, he landed in the sand over here in Category 6. And he'll Ricky Fowler will have to come out of the bunker. All right, so he's in the bunker now, trying to chip on, trying to get uh, an up and down here. Nice high number here. 27, oh, no. He didn't get that at all. He'll come out of the bunker, and he's going to two-putt that. He's going to be too far away, and he'll get a two-putt. So he's going to bogey this hole here. And, yeah, so you can see right here, automatically it's selected to two-putt. So, boom, we go, and he's going to get a four. So he'll he'll go to one over. Bubba Watson now is on the green. He's actually got a chance. I think he's got a chance for a birdie right here. Is that right? This is his second shot. He's 16 to 20. He's 18 feet away, 18 feet away. We're going to get aggressive on the putt. Here we go. Oh, no. No, the zero screws him over. So what would have been a two, he missed it. And it turns into a three because of the zero. So he'll three putt here. He'll pick up the bogey. And just things getting from bad to worse here for Bubba Watson. As we go and look at the scorecard. So each, oh, each guy bogeyed here. So each guy has bogeyed the last couple of holes. Uh, it's a two-stroke lead by Fowler here at the 17. So we got to go for it now. Bubba Watson with the driver, bam. And he hits this one right down the middle here in column number C, and he will be safely on the fairway. Up next is Ricky Fowler. He's going to tee off his shot here. Bam. Oh, he got all this one. Ricky Fowler finally lays into a drive, and that's going to carry all the way down here. He's going to hit this one a good solid way. Uh, let's see how far he hits it. So he's got a 19, and he's going to be in the middle. Here we go, 336 yards. So finally, Ricky Fowler connects off the tee, and he's in good position here to win the hole. Now back here in the middle. Um, has Bubba broken anything? Oh, not yet. He's teeing off right now. He's not doing good. He's three over for the day. And we're at hole number 17. So we're going to go for the pin. So we need to get better than a seven on this dice. 
And then this one needs to be one to eight, a zero or a nine, and we missed the green. And he's been having bad luck on his gambles. Here we go. And, oh, he missed it. A one. Another bad shot. Now, because it's on the fairway, it's not considered a duff. Remember, he hit the trees. Last time he was in the trees, he hit another tree. Yeah, if you're in the fairway, then you don't get the uh, the red ring of death around this. But he's going to miss it here, and he'll be around the green in section four. So he'll be off on the left over here. So his shot missed the green, but he's still safe. It's in the rough a little bit, but he's still pretty close to the green. And now Ricky Fowler, who's way up here on the fairway, he's going to get a great chance. So he's going to go for the pin here with a short iron. Let's see if he can drop this on. He needs better than a five, better than a five. And this is going to be one to eight. And yes. Oh, no, it's a nine. He's going to miss it. He's going to miss it because he gambled, and that's a nine. So he's going to miss the green, and he's going to end up uh, over here on the left. Remember, when you miss the green, it's wherever the pin is. So if this is the pin number three, it goes to that section right here. So he's, he's he missed the green. Nice try, though. He would have been looking pretty, but that nine really kind of snuck up out of nowhere. So Bubba Watson now is on the rough. He's on the left side as well, so he's going to try to chip this one on. And uh, a fair chip. He's going to get right here. He's still going to have to putt out, though. So he's one foot away, but he's still going to make that putt. So he, nice nice putt there, but it's not going to be automatic. And now Ricky Fowler trying to chip on as well from about the same area. And 27, oh, not good at all. Not good at all. He's going to leave himself about 14 feet now, and he will two-putt that one in. So Ricky Fowler comes up from 14, and he will two-putt, and he'll pick up the bogey here. So he'll get five strokes, so he's going to go to two over now. And a chance for Watson now to pick up a stroke here. If I can sink this one in, and all I need is better than a 17. Here we go. And a 34. Yeah, he's going to tap that in from one away. And now we got ourselves a game here, folks, as we go to 18. So it's a one-stroke game. Bubba Watson trailing by a stroke here on hole number 18 to Ricky Fowler, and he will tee off. He's been getting some distance, but he's landed in the trees a couple times. Let's take a look at his scorecard here. Yeah, that's seven. If he didn't get that seven right there, I think he'd be in better shape to win this. But he only trails by one stroke here on 18. So here we go. And the drive is a good one. Sailing to the right, though, and he'll be into the rough over here on the right-hand side. But a good drive and nonetheless. And he'll have to come out of the rough here. And now Ricky Fowler. He's going to take his drive, and oh, boy, it's another short drive, and it's to the right, and he'll be in the rough. One to two is in section F, which is way back here. A 20 is over here, and he's in the rough over here. So Ricky Fowler, oh, man, that was terrible. That was terrible. So Fowler is away. So as you can see, he's in the worst spot, and the other guy's up here in A in the best spot. So he's just going to try to hit an iron out of the rough over here, try to get it back in the play. And a 17, and he does, and he'll get that laid up right here on the middle of the fairway, so a good out out of the rough by Ricky Fowler, and he's in good shape to chip this one on here. And now is he going to go for the Yeah, we got to go for the green here. We don't have much of a choice. So we're going to go. For, Bubba Watson's going for the green, and he needs a nice high roll here to get that green and try to steal that stroke back, and here we go. Uh, no, he didn't get it. He didn't get it. He's off on the side, and he's short, and, oh, he just missed the water. He just missed the water. Wowzers. Yeah, he's in the rough. That die right, this yellow die right here, if that was two to five, he would have found the water. He would have found that little pond. Woo-hoo-hoo, he was so close to going, going into the drink. So Fowler now is laid up right here. He's going to go for the pin. We just need a... Six or better, and we get it. We get it, and he's going to drop that in. Oh, he, but he missed the, oh, the zero. He missed the green, and he'll be over here in, in the fairway. He just missed the green, that zero. Boy, the gambles here, you only get a 10% chance of missing it. Or no, 20% chance of missing it, and I missed it. So he's off to the side, but uh, this guy, Bubba Watson's in a world of hurt right now. He needs to almost chip this in. He's going to need a miracle here. So he's going he's gonna to go for the pin from the rough. Here we go. He's over here on the left. Trying to chip this over the water. And a 65. Oh, he got it. 
he got it, and he's within three feet of the hole. So he got it over the water, and he drops that within three feet. So that should be a nice little tap in for him to pick up the birdie. So Fowler now is going to chip on. This is going to be his fourth shot. Yeah, one, two, three. So it's his fourth shot chipping on. And 207, he put it in the hole. He holds it in, and he'll win the tournament today with a nice chip in here at 18. So he might have missed the green, but he chips this one in. He holds out, and he'll get the birdie here. Nice job by Ricky Fowler to kind of save the day. So Bubba Watson will roll up here, and he will putt this one in. He'll get his one from three feet away, but that will do it here. So Ricky Fowler... Shoots the 73. He's one over. And uh, Bubba Watson with a 74 is two over. And that is that. That was fun. This is a, a fun game here. Again, it's not the most um, most technically challenged, challenging game. But uh, I'm, I'm having some fun with it. And, and I'm enjoying rolling the dice and trying to figure out what happens on the dice. And, and I'm, I don't get it all correct. There's a couple things here that I'm like, why is this, you know, that? But I keep forgetting that sometimes you have to subtract Sometimes you're adding dice and subtracting dice, and sometimes I forget that. So the computer's never wrong. It's just I just don't know exactly why something happens. But it's usually something small, but I'm getting closer. But anyway, hey, that's um, another uh, Inside the Cup Golf. Been really enjoying this game here. I played a little bit of Tory Pines. I played nine holes last night and then the other nine holes today. So that was a good time. And a uh, big week for us on Digital Dice, by the way. Uh, Ron and I are going to be uh, recording our second year anniversary show this week. Yep, so we get two years of Digital to Dice. And, and again, um, we're going to be doing our fundraiser to try to keep the show going another year because uh, the, the bills are due in for the, the hosting and the whole bit. And now we have more more podcasts on the site. They're, they want more money from us. So um, we're going to be doing our, our annual fundraising drive for the show just to kind of pay for some of the expenses. So we'll be doing that this week. And if you can help out the show, great. And if you can't, that's great too. But we appreciate you listening to the show. But some people, if they choose to help us out, even with you know 10 or 20 bucks, whatever it is, uh, it, it does pay pay the bills it pays the speaker bills it pays all the other bills here so anyway so hey i'm dave thanks for tuning in with some golf i might do something tonight um i got some tennis yes i picked up tennis i picked up inside volley a uh, real simple game to play really fun game to play it comes with an excel helper so you can play it in excel so i'm hoping to get some tennis on the channel here and also i still haven't debuted uh stratomatic pc football yet i picked that up i've only played a little bit it's okay it, it's fine so, but I, I want to get that uh, going on the channel as well as to show off some new games here. And then probably tomorrow or Thursday, we'll be back to our NHL playoffs, 77-78 NHL playoffs. We have, uh, let's see, Al's going to be playing game two of uh, Boston and the New York Islanders. And then after he does that, I have to play game three of that series as well as the Montreal-Philadelphia series. Montreal up 2-0 over the Flyers as they should be heading back to the Stanley Cup Finals just as they did in 77-78. But that's been a fun project as well uh, with those two guys there. But anyway, hey, uh, enjoy your day. Hopefully you have a uh, better day than I did. And um, we'll talk to everybody later. And again, be looking for our two-year anniversary show tomorrow. It's going to be a dual release. We're going to release it audio on Spreaker. And we're also going to release it video here on YouTube. So you can see our shining faces, and we'll put up all the information on how you can help out the show right there as well. So um, we'll be doing all that. We won't go live, but we will We will have it um, a video version of this one as well. And uh, hopefully you saw the chat Saturday night with myself and Al. That was a fun chat. We went all night. You never know. We just started talking. The chat room was lively, so we, we ended up going a long time on Saturday night. That was a lot of fun. So, again, thanks for tuning in. This is Dave here from Studio B as I played some in, Inside the Cup Golf. Fun little game. It really is. Fun little game. And I don't mean little to be little the, the thing, but it's, it's not a monster to learn. You know, there's not a lot to it, but it's fun, and it's easy to play, and I'm enjoying it. So we'll talk to everybody later. Bye-bye.